Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, since we have Melia back in the party, I am now free to do a whole bunch more quests. And we're going to do some more. Oh, yes. We only have a few more, though. We're coming up on quite a big, um, quite a big story part. So there's there's not that many more quests for us to do. We have one here in Aerithsea, and then literally like all of the ones in Alchemoth. So we'll we'll see how long that takes. First, let us do this one. It is at the lighthouse. And I believe for this one you have to have do, done the whole um Jarek Jarak stuff before. What is, it? what is here? Okay. Yeah, you have to have done the, the ether plant stuff, so he shows up here. Hello, Shaylin. Hello. You are High Entia, aren't you? I am. Sorry for asking such a silly question. You're certainly a cute one, but look like you can handle yourself. There is no need for flattery. What is it you want? Oh, you must be shy. Do you know the job of this lighthouse? Of course I do. It serves to suppress the activity of the monsters at Earth Sea. That prevents them from attacking Alchemoth. It is a very important installation. You're right. Everyone knows the lighthouse has had some problems recently. So I asked, uh, Jirak to, um... Why are you acting so nervously? Th th that's not important now. It will take quite a lot of time to repair. If any monsters attack, we'll be completely helpless. I see. I suppose we could protect you all until the repairs are finished. That's an excellent idea. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Also, you need to be Melia for to accept this quest. Hence that whole dialogue right there. Thank you so much for this. It's fine during the day, but the monsters are active at night. We would all be so grateful if you could protect us at night. We're relying on you. Alright. And then I guess change it to night. Also, I checked. Um, Erisi will stay raining during this, um, this story beat. Alright. It's been a while since I've played Melia, so we'll see how this goes. Nice and simple. We are, like, level 50, so... I have a feeling that most fights will be no problem whatsoever. Alright, now where's the last one? 
it at the bottom. Oh wait, no, there it goes. We're that strong, we resisted the poison. Exactly. What a bunch of jokers. And that's the quest. We are all very grateful. Thanks to you, the lighthouse could be repaired. I knew I could only trust someone who knows how important it is. Splendid. I'm glad we could be of service. The lighthouse once again has all four of its lights. Hopefully Aerith Sea will be a little safer from now on. I am extremely grateful for your help. Think nothing of it. We simply did what we had to do. I have one more thing to ask of you. Hmm, I expected as much. What is it? I'd like you to thank Jirak for me. You can tell him yourself. There's no reason to be reticent. I can't. If there's no reason to be reticent, then can you not tell him? Why me? You should tell him yourself how you feel. I decline your request. I understand. You are reticent as well. Do not speak as if I am like you. I am not reticent. It is just that I am unaccustomed to doing such things. You have to get used to it at some point. You must not go through life always hiding your true feelings. I said I am not reticent. <laughs> Good luck. Of course, with all that, um, with all that talk. Ooh, staff. Melia's reticence skill ranch. <laughs> Heart racing. Whoa. Leah got a art? Alright. Who got a skill? I don't know, again, a bunch of shit. Reflection. A special ether barrier that causes attacks to rebound on the enemy. That sounds pretty good. You know what? Burst end? Eh. Gimme, give gimme give that. Gimme that. And who got a skill? Oh, right. Yeah. I guess I guess I can put that on. It eh. Hey, there you go. Alright, that is now all the Air of Sea quests we can do right now until the end of the game. Wow. Not a lot here, but we have it done. So now, we're almost, we're almost done with this major group of side quests. All we have left is Alkamoth. Which has oh so very many. Oh so very many. But we'll 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 do it. Alright. I guess first I'm just gonna go on accepting spree. I'm gonna go accept a bunch of them, and then I'm gonna do them.
All right, I need to go see Lacroix. La Lacroix? La Lacroix. Hmm. He's in the Great Hall. Are you the one? No, you are Galdo. Is it daytime? Yes. It is in fact Dunban, right? Yes, okay. What is it? Oh dear, oh dear. What should I do? My friend and colleague Galvin was defeated by a monster, so we're getting ready to make another attempt at defeating it. That is indeed a problem. The problem is, I've just been assigned to a different mission. At this rate, Galvin will have to face the monster on his own. Don't you think that you're mollycoddling him a bit? It's just one loss. It happens. Why do you need to help him? Sadly, it isn't just one loss. Galvin is on a bit of a losing streak at the moment. If we don't sort it out soon, he could get really depressed. Okay. Simple enough so far. Next one. Galdo, who is right here at nighttime. Welcome. Nothing to report at present. Please feel free to relax. You've noticed it too, haven't you? The chap over there is suffering from back pain, right? It's clear for everyone to see. That guy really loves his training and he pushes himself every day. That's why his back hurts. And still he's adamant about going on a search and destroy mission. Good grief, he's beyond help. I'm his friend and he still won't listen to a single word I say. No, I think he is listening to you. After all, you're his friend. Just give him a bit more time. We would like to help as much as we can too. Right. He is my friend. If I don't believe in him, then who will? You've helped me to realize something very important. Thanks a lot. You'll go on the mission instead of me and La Shen, then. You're a real lifesaver. Alright, so that's two monster quests. Alright. Now I need to talk to Marissa with Sharla in the party. Where... Where is she? Oh, really? Oh. Why? Why are you all the way over there? Uh, it's not that long a walk, I guess. I really should just switch to Shulk. I really should, and then... Where are my quick steps? Alright, what can I... I can change that. Put that back on. Here you are. Marissa. With Sharla in the party. Okay. Well? Excuse me. Could you help me? My son said he was going to go and do some training. 
Then before I could stop him, he ran off towards Aerith Sea. He has no idea just how dangerous Aerith Sea is. I feel terrified just thinking what might happen. Please, you look strong. Please help me find him. A little while ago, I was in a really similar spot. So we'll help you as much as possible. Really? Oh, thank you. I feel reassured. I'm sure you'll be able to find my son. Okay. Just find... find the boy. Should be easy. Alright, next is... Next in the list is the follow-up to this quest, so I can't do that. But after that, we have to find Ariel. Found of Eternity, not Fountain of Hope. You should be right here. No, that's that's Karalth and Zane. Change the time. What's a pickle? What should I do? Will you please help me? My daughter has suddenly begun hating Homs and Napon. She even finds half-blooded Hyentia distasteful. She was perfectly fine with other races up until a little while ago. Then she just suddenly changed. I have no idea why, either. Oh, no. I'd like to help her if I could find out why this happened, but she doesn't seem to want to talk to me about it. Maybe she'll talk with you. She hates other races? I've heard that Hyentia hate conflict, but... That's right, normally no one cares. Although I have heard of some very old texts. Texts which say things about only pure Hyentia being acceptable. Old mumbo-jumbo. Oh no. We have to deal with some racism. Mmm, joy. Alright. Now we talk to Karalth and Zane with Ricky in the party. We're not even close to being ready to set off there. What should we do? What's this? You want to help me? Well, I'm grateful. You see, I'm an adventurer. But this plane, this time, the place I want to go to is really quite harsh. I'm really stressing out about getting drinking water there. But apparently, water from certain waterfalls has a special property. No matter how cold it gets, it never freezes. If I have that, I think I'll be okay. Waterfall? Why water no freeze? Water is water, yes? That weird. You're telling me. Truth is, I don't know either. But it doesn't freeze, so I'm not complaining. Well, apart from the fact that I don't know what to do about it. Oh. When do we get Kasharka water? Eh. Really? Ulrat will go and get me some of that water? Nice. Right. Is that one. Next, we need to go to the palace and find Ruthon. At nighttime. Hmm. 
I'm gonna guess it's you over here. I don't know what that, uh... Oh, that's probably talking to the girl, or Ariel. Hello there. You are indeed Rathon. Well, this is a problem. There'll be no research for anyone at this rate. Hmm? I say, you kids, if you're free at the moment, could you give me a hand? Our ancient ruins research team has unearthed some ancient texts. That's Shulk and Ricky up a level. Let's go. You're researching ancient ruins. Before we set out on this journey, I was doing research too, so I think I really know how you feel. Oh, really? So you're a scientist, eh? <laughs> Forgive me, but you don't really look like one. We have been traveling for a long time, and it's been tough too. Maybe I'm getting too buffed up? No, never mind that. Please tell us more about your research. Regrettably, the text age means we can't decipher them easily. It would take years and years, and that's just not good enough. That's why we decided to build some kind of deciphering machine. I'm sure you can see where this is headed, right? Can you help us gather the nearest cemetery materials? Oh, we just need three more armor. Okay. Shulk and Ricky got a level, so they have a new skill link slot. What can he get? I guess that, yeah, that's good. And then Ricky. Yeah, yeah, take that. All right. There's that one. Next. I need to find Popey Po at the main entrance. In daytime. Yes! Nello is also part of my family, so I must be nice to Nello. But Nello has bad influence on Little Pond. He should drink less. Oh, that... Okay. Bothersome. Thank you for the link. Sometimes that just happens. Recently, Pogipo's son no want to go outside. I ask why, but he no answer. He just shiver and shake. What is happening? Hmm. He does go out, but every day find new tricky place to hide. I want him to have fun outside, not stay in dark place. Yeah, kids should be playing outside with their mates. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have friends to save my bacon. So I'd love it if you let me help. You be careful now. I might get lovey dovey for you. You very nice, Hom Hom. Handsome Hom Hom. But a tough job for one Hom Hom. Talk with friends and then decide what you do. Uh, okay. Baroba. Who apparently is right there. Hmm? Alright. Should be another one at nighttime that I can actually do right quick. Should be just right over here. Should be you. Yes, Scarlet. Oh, what on my honest have I done? I know they will never forgive me for this. Thank you kindly. 
You see, something strange is happening to me recently. Whenever I see these two friends of mine, my chest begins to ache. I think I must have somehow fallen for both of them. Falling for two people at once, whatever is the matter with me. As a bloke, I think I know where you're coming from. When you get on with someone too well, things start changing. The same thing happened to you. But unlike me, you look like you can decide your own fate. I wish I could be like you. I just try to be honest, but sometimes you just can't manage by yourself. So rely on us. We'll do all we can to try and help you. Well, even if I like them, I have no idea what they think of me. So could you please help me? You would really try to help me. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Alright, I'm pretty sure... Let me go to that. It says talk to Rickoff. We have I have to talk to both of them, and then that will get me another quest. I think I can do it right now. Oh, are you all the way over there? You want to know what I think of Skylin? Some people say bad things about him, but they've got it all wrong. He's really a good man. He's actually been manipulated by quite a few women in the past, so I hope he realizes how we feel for him soon. And then Rosiel. Hey. What do I think about Skylin? Why do I have to tell that to you? Skylin asked you to find out? Why didn't he come and ask me himself? At any rate, I certainly don't dislike him. In fact, no. This is something I ought to tell him myself in person. And that's it. And then we go back and talk to him. Are you that? Well, it sounds like as though they do not dislike me, at least. That alone is a tremendous relief for me to hear. I'm glad I asked for your help. If I had just worried about it on my own, it would not have ended well. I owe you my gratitude. Thank you. That was the whole quest. Talk to people four times. And now we have Kinda Likes and Old Friend. And then that just gives us all another quest, which I believe we need Sharla for. Yes. Oh, it's you again. Take a guess at what happened after you helped me out. I'll tell you what happened. Both of the girls approached me, and they both confessed that they have affections for me as well. So now I have to decide what between them. What a conundrum. How can they expect me to make a decision just like that, but at the same time? I can understand how your friends must feel. I can see how it must be easier to pretend that nothing's wrong. But you can't stay that way forever. That would solve nothing. You're right, of course, but even though it's all my fault, I still can't seem to decide. It's not that they're angry at you. In fact, they're trying their best to keep your friendship alive. The question is, how will you respond to that? Even I can see that things cannot go on like this. In fact, I'm the one most terrified of ruining what we already have. So once again, could I please ask for your help? We have to choose who he gets with. This is... <laughs> this is not... This is not a thing you ask other people. It, it's really not. It's really not. And you want to know something? There's actually a better outcome for this. Yeah, you don't you don't just pick whoever. There's actually a better option, which is Let me see. Hang on, one moment. I'm getting there. Rosiel. 
a slightly better choice due to better affinity gain. Okay. Well, there you go. Which I guess makes sense. She was the one who was, like, shy, right? So I would assume this would be a more important relationship to her than Rickoff, who was just like, oh yeah, he's cool. He's chill. Hey. This time it's my favorite memory he wants to know about. Well, it's probably the promise we made when we were young. It wasn't just between me and him, but it is my most precious memory. For the three of us to be friends forever. Oh, now look what you've done. I'm getting all embarrassed. At any rate, I doubt he'll even remember that promise anymore. I have to talk to both of them? Hmm? I thought, I thought I had to pick which one. Oh, I, I think, I think I have picked, but I have to talk to her still. You'd like to know my favorite memory with Scarlin. Probably the time Rosiel introduced me to him. After all, to have memories, I have to have met him in the first place. But what does that have to do with anything? I know that Scarlin must ask you to do it, but I suppose there's not much point asking that now. Okay, so this should be this should be it then. Are you that? I see, and my answer is decided. Rosiel thinks the same way I do, so my heart lies with her. To tell the truth, I think I may have known all along. I've always cared for Rosiel more than for Rickoff. But as I told you before, I was afraid of ruining our friendship. I think that must be why I was running away from my feelings. That cowardice may have ended up causing pain for them both. I never want to make them go through anything like that again. I don't want to make them sad. Alright. Thanks to you, I've been able to realize how I truly feel. I cannot be grateful enough for what you have done for me. As a token of my gratitude. Alright, there's that. And of course, he has another one. So I guess I can accept that. Right, I'm not sure which one this is, but it says here... Also, depending on who you picked, this is a, a branching quest. So there's two different quests here, but it says Ryan and Shulk for either of them. So I can just accept it. What should I do? Suddenly I have no idea what I ought to say. This is a real problem. Oh, it's you again. Listen, I'm thinking of getting a, giving a letter to Rosiel, but now I come to write it, I have no idea what to say. It's getting me down. I just don't know what I should write at this stage. I've been thinking about it ever since I realized how I feel, but... So just write how you feel right now. Don't try and sugarcoat it. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. You could be right there. I wasn't going to go over the top, but maybe I am overthinking this. Just write how I feel. Yes. That's the spirit. She'll definitely appreciate it. Well, I know I would. I suppose I will just write my honest feelings. Yes, I've decided. I'll tell Rosiel exactly why I fell for her. Finished. Right, may I ask you to deliver this to Rosiel, please? Why? I think this is the final request I will ask of you. I only got this far thanks to you, so I'm counting on you to do this. Alright, I guess I guess we'll finish the, the quest line here since it's literally just talking. We have not had to do anything else besides walking to these two points and talking. Now you've got a letter from Scarlin. Whatever could be inside. What the? Did Scarlin tell you what he's written in here? He didn't tell you, and you haven't read it? Well, I'm glad about this. Of course I am. It's just... I know I told him to choose between us, but I didn't mean for this to happen. But, but no, I shouldn't say that. Scarlin's made his decision. I have to respect his feelings. But what am I supposed to say to Rickoff? She was so serious about this as well. 
If he couldn't decide, I was going to ask him to choose Rickoth. But no. I just have to go and find Scarlin. We can tell Rickoth together. And we'll stay friends. Three of us, always. That is a good outlook on this whole situation that we should not have been a part of. Scarlin, you are a weak-ass man. Are you that? I had no idea that Rosiel was so worried about this, and I call myself her friend. I truly am the worst of the worst. I brought sadness upon both of them. Still, there is at least one good thing to come out of all this. I feel sure now that Rosiel will not ignore Rickoth or hurt her feelings. With any luck, they will still be able to remain good friends. Despite all that has happened, I hope we can all remain friends. I know it is a selfish thing to say, but I still wish for it. Still, you people are the real heroes of this piece. I don't know what I would have done without all of your help. So please take this, a token of gratitude from all three of us. I cannot say what will happen now, but I know that I will be happy as long as we can all be together. I will try my very hardest to make that happen. We all will. You could just be a thruple. I mean... If the king himself does it, I'm pretty sure you can just have a thruple. Yeah, that is that whole line done. We have very close, the one, and best friends. That nice triangle right there. All right, well... There's still quite a few to accept. And then I still have to do them. But I think I'll end it right there. It has been a bit. And you know, I, I, I still did some. I've just been accepting a whole lot. All right. Well, I've been player one. And I'll see you next time when we actually do all the quests and and finish all the quests we have available to us right now. All right. Bye-bye.